welcome to the Daily Digestion Channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make some raw nori wraps. Okay guys, um, so I've been embarking on the raw food journey and um, it's been a challenge. It's been a real challenge. I'm just going to be honest uh, with the humidity and the way my hair has been looking lately. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> but yes I am <laughs> but um, but what I want to say is uh, this is a um, what I'm using here is this fried nori um, I ordered this off of Amazon it's really great stuff it's raw and it's organic I've had this in a while and I really need to just go ahead and finish it up the good news is, is this stuff will last forever because it's like freeze-dried or not freeze-dried but dried in a dehumidifier or I mean in a um, dehydrator sorry <laughs> okay so I'm hungry let's get into it I'm starving okay what we have here is a nori sheet and what we have here is some green leaf lettuce some pea shoot microgreens and some spinach and then we have a dressing that I made and this dressing just ignore that little dollop on the side um, this is really good it's got tomatoes in it um, I soaked some pumpkin seeds and I put those in it and then I put like a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar and some fresh basil that I had on hand um, and then I went to the grocery store and I bought like one of those little um, in the grocery section it's like a basil plant for two dollars and you pick little leaves off of it well I pretty much picked all the leaves off of it. <laughs> but there you go and so um, that is what went in there and I put two cloves of garlic and the clove guys is just gonna knock it through I mean not clove I'm sorry two cloves of garlic and the garlic is gonna knock it through the park no doubt about it so um, and these little pea shoots here I got them at the grocery store they were 99 cents on clearance and they are really good if I would have known that I would have bought the other pack but I wasn't sure how they would go so the reason I'm doing this is because I wanted this to be um, a really uh, hearty this is my dinner so I wanted something really um, you know calming and so I'm going for the greens on this and this dressing has got tomatoes in it so it's really going to give it a kick and it's got the fats of the um, sunflower or not sunflower seeds but you could do sunflower seeds if you wanted to but it's got the pumpkin seeds and um, and you know and the tomatoes and so that's just going to give it a really nice balance and um, so this is going to be delicious and I can't wait so let me show you how to do this I take one and I just put it flat in the middle let me bring the camera over here so you can see okay so we just okay so we put that in the middle and then we're going to layer spinach and layer that up and guys you can put whatever you wanted on the inside of these if you just didn't want to do greens you could put like a pepper like a, a orange pepper or you could put a little bit of sauerkraut I'll probably do one like that um, you could put even slice up a date 
and run a date along the middle of it, you know, just to make it different, like a little surprise. So you're just going to keep layering the leaves flatly like that. And then we're going to take our pea shoots. We're going to lay those on top of this leaf. And that's going to help us kind of, you know, roll it up. So we're going to go ahead and put all that in there. Now we're going to take this leaf, the, um, the leaf that was underneath, the um, green leaf lettuce. We're going to take that and kind of help that to roll it. Okay. And then we're going to come with our little nori. sheet and start rolling. And guys, that just is like a layered way to do it. You can experiment around and do, you know, just about anything. I hope you can see that. And then you're going to take some of the dressing and use it um, for the side to help it stick. Or you could just use water if you wanted to. But you want to get that nice and moist. And then you just voila, just kind of let that go down there and then lay it on top of it like this to where it cannot kind of seal. And that's it guys. That's how you make a nori wrap. And, um, you know, this tastes kind of like cheese. It's really crazy how good that tastes. So I'm just going to let that uh, sit there for a few minutes. You know, you could put tomatoes on the inside of this, layer in the middle. You could do just about anything um, with this. But I'm just showing you a simple version of how I wanted some really just hearty greens. And what I'm going to do is, and I'm just going to dip that in my dressing like this and eat it. Mm. Mm. This is so good. This really is good. It's, I mean, you could take these on a picnic um, you could really do just about anything. Take them to lunch. These are amazing. And, um, you know, all, this dressing was left over from last night's salad. And I couldn't use it all. And I thought, you know what, I'm going to save that for tomorrow. So, this is really good. Mmm. I'm definitely going to make another one and eat it tonight. That is delicious. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this inspires you to make a nori wrap. Nori has iodine in it. It's a natural source of iodine and it's really delicious. These have a really good flavor to them. And um, they're kind of like an acquired taste. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe, like, share. And I hope to see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.